Hey guys, it's Michaela and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my top eyeshadow palettes for summer. Now when I think of summer palettes, I think of something a little bit more wearable, but still colorful. Uh, something I can work with is like some lightweight foundation to where I'm not going full glam, but I'm still having fun with it. So I've got my palettes here, some affordable, some high-end, and let's just go ahead and get started. Start and I have one, a couple of e.l.f. bite size eyeshadow palettes and this one is in the shade Cream and Sugar. You can deepen it up here or you can have some one and done shimmer um, eyeshadows with the shimmers. So I really like that for that reason and it's still a very neutral option and it's a very affordable option. I also like the e.l.f. bite size quad in the shade Hot Jalapeno. I like it because it's got the greens here, it's got the pop of yellow. Yellows for me are like an all time summer color, yellows and like bright blues. So I really like this shade here and I like how it pairs with the greens. I think this is an amazing quality for an amazing price point. And now I've got some Urban Decay palettes to show you. First I've got the, the Naked Ultraviolet which I think is good for summer just because it like you've got the lighter peaches here. The purples are not too deep so the shades of purples I feel like are very summer appropriate. Um, but just like the way these shades are they're not too deep. They're a little bit more cool toned. Um, but I think that that just it makes an amazing color story for the summer. And then I've got the eyeshadow palette that does have some controversy. I personally like it, um, but I just thought this one was just kind of light. The Urban Decay Naked Cyber, by the way. But it's light, it's fun, you've got your pops of color, you've got your topper shades, and it's just very, like, when I see this palette, I think of, like, going to the beach, going to go have some fun on summer vacation, and just something you can kind of pop in over, like, a colorful eyeshadow, especially with some of their topper shades, and just be able to go and have fun with it. It's very, very light, um, but still you can build it up to make it a little bit more glam if you wish. I also have the Urban Decay Naked Honey palette, which just the yellows in itself remind me of summer. I absolutely love how bright and beautiful the yellows are. In this, I know that it can be used for a fall palette, but I personally like it for the summertime. And then warming it up a little bit, going in with the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette, definitely a classic. But I just, I love the red tones. I love how easy you can wear this palette. Uh, I know that some of it can, sometimes this palette can make your eyes look bloodshot if you're not wearing it in the right way, if you're not careful. But if you just stick like with a light dusting in the crease with some of the shimmer shades on the lid, you should be fine. And then going into, I've got... I don't know if this one is still available, but I really like pulling it out for summer. And this is the Tarte in Adeline Morin palette. Again, with the yellows and the warm reds and oranges, I just think it's such a beautiful palette for summer. Plus, you've got a blush and a highlight here. So definitely something you could wear for on the go, but I just, I love the color story in this. And then we've got Ace Beauté Vintage Dawn. I'm pretty sure this is still available, but I could be wrong with the Ace Beauté Vintage Dawn. Again, just the sunset looks and... A shadow just fell out. Well, it's not broken, and it's a oh, yellow. Okay, we just got to be careful with this palette. But uh, I do love the color stories. I love how you get a nice, a nice sky blue. You can totally deepen it up if you want to. You've got your corals, and then you've got your more yellow and orangey tones up top. Hopefully, this is not blinding you. I'm trying to keep the mirror out of the way. But again, I love this color story. And then Natasha Denona, the bronzed palette. Definitely warm, definitely reminds me of summer, uh, just with the richness and the reds and the pops of orange. I just feel like it's a very, like, I want to go get a suntan kind of vibes with this eyeshadow palette. Last but not least, I've got a couple of Morphe eyeshadow palettes. I've got the Morphe 35S Sweet Oasis palette. I think, I believe this is still available, but again, I don't know. But I just love the color stories. Like, I love how, like, these blues make me think of water. You've got the rose of pinks, which is just a fun color for summer anyway. And then you've got your more neutral colors if you want some. Just a little bit more muted, but still very summery, especially with how warm these are. And the last but not least is a palette that I just did a look with. Um, I believe it'll be up before this video, so I will link it down below if it is already up. But it is the Morphe 35D Desert Bouquet Palette. This is still available. Um, I, I did a summer look featuring these yellows and then a blue from another palette, but I also love the greens and I love just the yellows, the warm tones, and then you can go more deeper in warm tone in this palette. I feel like this would be a good transitional palette from summer to fall, 
but I've just I'm loving it for the summer so far I've already created some looks that I love with it for this time of year and well that is everything I have in this video thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one God bless and bye guys